All right, at this time, let's welcome the Philippine Weekend cultural dancers, and they will be performing two numbers, Rigadon and Silat. So let's welcome the Philippine Weekend cultural dancers. Right, give it up for them. You know, I don't know about you, but I really appreciate these young people, these young kids that have taken time to get together and practice these dances. They could have been home playing on the video games or doing whatever else they do, but they took time from their schedule to go to practices and learn these cultural dances for our entertainment and to keep the Filipino heritage going. We also want to appreciate uh, their teachers that have taken the time 
to teach him these dances, right? Can you give him a hand? Come on. All right, that was great, kids. We really appreciate all of you. At this time, the candidates need a few more minutes, so it's time for us to get to know our Philippine Weekend Grand Marshals. And we have Grand Marshals of this year's Philippine Weekend are Mr. and Mrs. John Jojo and Eloisa Ignacio, who have been wed for 38 years. They have five children, Joel, Jaemily, John Angelo, JR, and Jasmine, and 10 grandchildren. Jojo was a third of six children. His parents ran their own public transportation business in Manila, and by age 14, Jojo was helping manage the family business. He pursued a degree in business management at the University of Santo Tomas and was assigned as Secretary General of the Jeepney Federation in the Philippines in 1981. Eloisa was one of 14 children. She graduated from elementary and high school with honors and was the school muse winner and San Miguel Academy four times. She was a stay-at-home mom caring for five children at the time Jojo was working long hours running the family business. Like many immigrants, the couple hoped for a better future for their children and came to the United States 29 years ago. They worked long hours in Los Angeles until a visit to Alois's eldest brother attracted them to Delano in 1988. Since then, they have given themselves and countless hours to community service and religious devotions. They have been members of the Filipino American Educational and Cultural Association, Assistant Auditor of Filipino Community, Associate in the Chamber of Commerce and Women's Club of Delano. Their main goal, however, has been to lead people closer to God. In 1991, the couple installed Our Lady of Fatima devotions in Delano, and in 1992, held the first BNP or Banal Napag Aral retreat class in their home. They also play an integral role in yearly reenactment of the Passion of the Christ at Guadalupe Church during Lenten season and Santa Cruzan festivities during Philippine weekend. The couple co-founded the Delano Adult Daycare Center in 2002, which provides specific health, physical, and social services to adults at risk of being placed in nursing homes. Jojo is transportation manager of the Delano Association for the Developmentally Disabled. And in 2007, Eloisa received her bachelor's degree in business administration from the University of Phoenix. They are thankful for the kind of life they are able to lead and are grateful for their community and religious services and appreciative of opportunities they've had to travel and explore other parts of the country and of the world. But what they enjoy most is an afternoon at home surrounded by their children, daughters and sons-in-law and 10 very active grandchildren. If we could have the, the, the house lights at this time, ladies and gentlemen, our 2011 Philippine Weekend Grand Marshals, Mr. and Mrs. Jojo and Eloisa Ignacio. Thank you, Jojo and Eloisa. Thank you for all you do and the great asset to our community.